Have you noticed any channels missing in your Comcast lineup? Turns out you'll need more equipment to get them back. As News 3's Tim Ronka found out today, you may have to wait a while to get it fixed. Deborah Rasnick is a Comcast customer who couldn't watch some of her favorite shows last week because her channels were gone. I couldn't figure out what was going on, and then when they uh, took so many channels away, I found out that you had to have this box. It's part of Comcast's switch from analog to digital and only affects customers who have basic. When she got her new box, it didn't work, so she came to the local store and saw this line. The line was so long that they even had a state trooper here guarding the door. So she went home and called, but said she was on hold for a while, transferred several times, and eventually dropped. Then you have to call back, and then if you get somebody, then they try to send a signal to the box, and it just, don't come, it just doesn't come up. Apparently, she isn't alone, and Comcast is working to fix the issues. In a statement, they say, For the past few months, we've been communicating with our customers in the Valley about our world of more digital enhancement. We're moving analog channels to digital, and we do see an increase in the number of customers trying to get digital equipment. We've been offering extended hours and stepping up staffing to respond to increased demand. But Deborah says they need to do more. I think they just dropped the ball on the whole thing, and I feel like they're going to lose a lot of uh, customers over this ordeal. Now, there actually is some good news for Comcast customers in Harrisonburg that already have digital. They have added several new HD channels this week, but for those with basic, until you get a new box, you may not be able to watch your favorite shows. Moving on now to our top story. Long lines of customers snaked around Comcast offices today. People frustrated that they can't get several channels since the company made a digital switch last week. I think they just dropped the ball on the whole thing, and I feel like they're going to lose a lot of uh, customers over this ordeal. If you get basic cable, you need a converter box that Comcast provides for free, but some customers have complained the boxes don't work. Well, Comcast released a statement saying, for the past few months, we've been communicating with our customers in the Valley, we've been offering extended hours, and stepping up staffing to respond to increased demand. We wanted to test the process for ourselves, so we had News 3's Aubrey Urbanowitz try to install her own digital adapters to her TVs. Watch and see if she's successful. If you're a Comcast customer, you may have been just as surprised as I was to come home and find many of your TV channels not working despite the fact that you have a digital-ready TV. The only way to fix the problem is to order a digital converter box. Well, I just got my digital converter boxes in the mail, so we're going to see how easy they are to hook up. We've got two digital converter boxes, so you'll need one for each TV you have in your home. I'm finishing up the installation, so all I have to do is call or go online to activate the adapters. Welcome to Comcast. Are you calling to activate your new digital equipment? Yes. So I just finished calling Comcast, and they said it could actually take up to about 45 minutes for the signal to be received. Well, it's actually been about an hour, and you can see that we still have no signal. Hopefully, you've had better luck than I have. I've actually double-checked with my cameraman to make sure I follow the instructions properly. I've also tried to call Comcast, and their wait time is exceedingly long right now, so we're going to have to call back and see if we can get this problem fixed. In Harrisonburg, Aubrey Urbanowitz, WHSV News 3. So there you have it. Now, Aubrey said even if it had worked, She's not thrilled to have all the more cables and another remote to keep track of. She's not the only one who's had problems with these digital adapters.